San Francisco is supposed to be out of the mainstream, but the truth is it's a very conservative place, especially when it comes to food. It's hard to find anybody that isn't doing the sort of Alice Waters inspired pedigree ingredients and um, minimal preparation. But there is somebody that's doing something different and it's Chef Dominique Crenn at Atelier Crenn in the Marina District of San Francisco. Crenn calls her food modernist cuisine. She does use liquid nitrogen, she does use a sous vide machine, but it's not about transforming molecules so much as it is about turning food into a presentation that as a whole evokes a feeling. A lot of people think that a bad cooking is just, you know, you go and you go to a restaurant and you need to eat and so we feed you and then you go home and that's it, you're not hungry anymore. When you look at the bigger picture, for me it's just also, yeah, it's feeding you, you know, physically but also emotionally and there's a lot of things that can happen. We're telling a story on the plate. And the presentation is often enchanting. Dominique is heavily influenced by nature and her plates look like perfectly miniature landscapes, like this mushroom-laden walk in the forest. The walk in the forest is a memory about the aroma of the forest and foraging. And with my father, in the bottom is it's the essence of pine meringue. And then you have pickled mushroom and saute mushroom and forage herbs and dehydrated, you know, mushroom. So it's like all these things that you see when you walk in. To Kren, it's evoking a memory. I don't know that it evoked any particular memory of mine, but it does give a sense of walking in a dark, earthy, green, mushroomy woods. She also does an iceberg lettuce pork belly dish that did evoke a memory, a BLT from my childhood. Of course, the pork belly is cooked sous vide and the, the lettuce was poached, and all in all, it's a whole lot better than anything I had in my childhood. I want people to push the boundary, to do what they want to do. There's a lot of chefs that's working in different restaurants, and the, you know, the conversation when I have with them is like, oh God, you know, yeah, I, have to, I don't really like my job, but you know, that paid the bill, then you know, I'm cooking whatever the owners tell me to cook. And it's just, it's sad when you hear that, you know. It's okay to be different and to do things differently. For Atelier Crenn, it is okay to be different. It is one of the only places in San Francisco where you can experience food with a little bit of the foraging and pickling of Rene Redzepi, the famous Danish chef, a little bit of the science of somebody like Wiley Dufresne at WD50 in New York, and a touch of a very skilled maker of dioramas. And the best part is her food isn't just for admiring or for some brief startling taste explosion. It is for eating. This is food that you can chew and enjoy and feel nourished.